hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video today i'll be showing you how to make this lovely exaggerated petal cuff sleeve and we are going to be needing the basic sleeve block to do that if you are here to watch my video on how to draft the basic sleeve i'll put the link down in the description box so that you can watch that so you're going to need your long sleeve uh, measurement just like i have here from the head of the sleeve to the wrist then you will also need your elbow length measurement that is from the head of the sleeve to the elbow line and also you will need your elbow circumference measurement so to get started we are going to be tracing this pattern from the head of the sleeve down to the elbow line So just like this and this is our elbow line this is the back part of the sleeve and this is the front part of the sleeve so the next thing i'll be doing now is to measure one inch from the elbow line so i'll measure one inch like that then i will square an horizontal line like this so the reason why i measure that one inch is because i'm going to get rid of this uh, one inch so the pelter will, will, will be joining the pelter to this part of the sleeve at, at this new elbow line so this will be our new elbow line so I will label this as the new elbow line then we are going to cut this up so I will just add half an inch joining allowance to this part And then we are, we are getting rid of this old elbow line so I will cut this out so this is what you will have and I'll just place it on the basic block but if you don't have the basic block all you need to do is just to draft your sleeve measurement from the head of the sleeve down to one inch above your elbow line so the next thing i'll be doing now is to measure the circumference of the elbow on this new elbow line so i will just measure it from here to here i'm not going to measure the seam allowance with it so and i have 11 and a half inches here so i will record that as the new elbow circumference 11 and a half inches because this uh, my elbow measurement is 11 inches and because we have we went up by one inch so that is why you need to remeasure it again so i have 11 and a half inch and the next thing you want to do now is to measure the the length of the petal so you take that measurement from the new elbow line down to your wrist just like i'm doing now so and i have 10 inches here so all now depends on you if you want the length you want for the petal so if you want the petal to be below your wrist measurement you need to add to that so i'll be adding two inches to my wrist line as you can see it here so that will give me 12 inches for the length of the petal so i will just record 12 inches for the length of the petal so once you've known your desired petal length the next thing you want to do now is to you determine the length you want for each of the petals as you can see it's, it is three layered so for the long for the longest one we are going to be using this 12 inches for the longest one so i'll just record 12 inches for that so for the medium petal I will take away three inches from this 12 that will give me nine inches for the length of the medium one and then for the shortest you will need to take away three inches from this nine as well 
than that i will have six inches so these are the length for the length of the of each of the petals so once you've known that the next thing you want to do is to determine how many petals you want for each of these so for the longest one i'll be using two for the medium i'll be using two as you can see it and then for the shortest i'll be using three petals so that is settled for that so once you recorded this the next thing you want to do now is to now come to your elbow circumference you want to determine the radius of each of the petals so for the longest you will need to divide your new elbow circumference by the number of the petal you are having so i'm having two two petals so i will divide 11.5 by 2 that will give me so i will label this as the radius so this is the number of the petals so i will have if i divide this 11.5 by 2 i will have 5.75 inches that means 5.75 for one and 5.75 for the second one and then for the medium one you will divide it by the number of the petals you are having so i will have the same thing and then for the shortest one i will divide the my elbow circumference by three so i will have 3.8 inches for that because i'm i'm having three petals for the shortest one so once you have this then we can cut our petals so to cut the petal now you will need to fold your fabric into two or your pattern paper so you fold it into two and then you need to measure the length of the petal you want to cut so for the longest one we have 12 inches and we had half an inch that will be joining allowance to it so i'll just mark 12 and a half inch like this so this will be the bottom and this is the top so the next thing now is to input the radius of the petal so because you are folding this into two now this 5.75 inches you need to divide it into two so i think i will have 2.85 there so i will just mark that 2.85 like this and as you can see it in the picture the petals overlap overlaps each other so you will need to add additional one inch or one and a half inch to it so it depends on how you want it so i will add one inch to this like this and then you need to now divide you find the middle point of the top of the petal and the bottom of the petal here you find the middle point so that will be 6.25 around here and then at that middle point you will need to measure the width you want for your petal and i'll be using six inches i think that will be okay unless you want it more than that so six inches is moderate so i'll just mark that six inches and that will be the width of the petal and once you've done that the next thing now is to you trace from here you join it to this and you connect it to the bottom of the petal so i'll just use my free hand just shape it like this and then you connect it so just like this i think i need to shape it a little bit more around this place so i'll just curve it a little bit to give it a nice shape i think this is better so if you are using a cutting fabric and you would like to turn it with the lining because of the edges so you will need to add half an inch joining allowance to it but if you are using a fabric like scuba or jesse fabric that doesn't fray at the edges so you don't need to add any extra allowance to it so i will just cut that out 
so this is what we have for the longest one and now the width will be 12 inches across here we have 12 inches and here we have seven and a half inches so now we want to cut the medium size and for that it's almost the same thing just the width that you will need to reduce so i will just measure nine inches and i will add half an inch joining allowance so i will have nine and a half inch and then the width of it is the same thing like this one because i'm having two so just to make it very easy i will just measure what i have here and I have 3.7 inches, so that is what I will mark here. Then you find the middle point. So for 9.5 inches, I will have 4.75 around this place. 4.75. So for the width of this medium one, I will be using 5 inches for the width. Then I will connect that together. And this is the second one. So this is the longest and the medium petal. So for the shortest petal, we are having six inches for the length. So I will just mark six and a half inch, inches like this. And then the radius for the shortest one is 3.8 inches because we are having three pieces. So you divide your elbow circumference by three. So that is 3.8 inches. And because this paper is being folded into two, so you need to divide this by two. So I'm dividing that by two. I will have 1.9 inches. So I will just mark that. And then I will add one inch just like I did for these two to it and that will make it to overlap each other so we had that one inch to it and then you will find the middle point as usual so that will be 3.25 for this shortest one 3.25 so this is the middle point and then the width of this shortest one i will be using four inches for the width so just mark Four inches for the width and then I will connect it to this one and then to this point just like this then I will cut it out so guys, this is what we arrived at. I have here three layers of petals. I'll be cutting two pieces for this, two pieces for this, and three pieces for this. And this is the joining allowance that I added to the length while drafting this. And also, I added half an inch joining allowance to the elbow line. So when you are sewing it, you can just give it a little pleat so that it can come out well and nice. So when you give it a little plate, it will come out like this. So you give each of the petals just a little plate. Like that. Like that. So it will come out nice if you do that. And you arrange it nicely. And make sure that each of the petals overlap each other. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, kindly do so. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell. If you have any suggestion or any question, kindly drop it at the comment section. Then I will see you again in my next video. Bye.